Hey what's going on guys it's Coding Tuts and welcome back to a brand new video in which I'll be showing you how to create this really simple grid system. So you might be looking at this and you might be going like well this is really easy to do like why do I have to make a whole tutorial on this? Well see now this is really easy to do look but what if I want number one to be in front of number two? Well actually if you go to my text editor you will see in the index.html that one is before two. And you might be wondering, but wait, how is number two in front of number one? Well, stay tuned because I'll be showing you exactly that in a couple of seconds. So yeah, uh, stay tuned. All right, so now that I've shown you what we're gonna be creating, um, I have actually reset my index.html file and we're ready to begin from the zero. So the first thing that we want to do when we're creating a grid system is actually create a wrapper. Now for a wrapper you could always use the body as a whole wrapper and like but it's not really a good idea so uh, instead of using the body as a wrapper we're actually going to be creating a div that we're going to call wrapper. So I'm going to create a div and I'm going to give it a class of wrapper. Div. All right, so now that we have this main div, um, the whole content goes inside this div. But um, we actually need uh, a couple of more divs since actually we're going to be creating. Um, so one grid uh, is a whole wrapper, but in in that grid there are two columns basically, and each column is a div. Now you could do that with a table, but it won't be called CSS floats if you do it as a table. So we're gonna call, um, we're gonna create two divs that we're gonna give it um, a class of like um, <laughs> column. All right, close this, and then create the same one, uh, another div, and give it a class of column as well. So inside there's gonna be our content. All right, so just um, for I'm just gonna write something really fast. Uh, just see that they're uh, two separate divs. So number one, uh, h1. Oops, number two. All right, so now I have actually um, did I have actually done some CSS, but that's just for the text and selection. So now when we refresh, it should be styled up. Now you can see that they are one under each other, all right? So now what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and style the wrapper. So, oops, wrapper. Um, all right, it, it did have a class wrapper. So let's say we wanna give it a width of 800 pixels. Actually, 600, let's go. Let's get 600 pixels. I'm gonna give it a position and relative so it can center it. Position relative and a height of auto. I'm also gonna give it a background color of um, F1, F1, F1. And uh, I'm gonna align it in the center so margins row auto. Like this. And actually, I'm gonna remove. Yeah, okay, that's good. Um, hold on just a second. I'm gonna remove the margin top of the h1 tags like this All right, so this gray slightly gray uh, Div is a wrapper and we are now gonna be styling the columns so that they fit 100% of the column So actually the their sum is 100% um, Since we want to make them two equal divs doesn't matter um the width of one div is going to be 50%, but if you want them to be like two um, different divs that uh, take up 100% of the width of the div, of the wrapper, um, one could be like 30 and the other one could be 70% or uh, 60 and 40, it doesn't really matter. Um, but for this tutorial, we are going to do 50-50. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and do column. And I'm just gonna say 50% and height 100%. Now when we refresh, uh, hold on a second. Yeah, okay, now I see my, uh, so now when we refresh, nothing happens. That's because we haven't aligned it yet. So if you give it a background color of like, let's say red, you can see that they're one on top of each other. And we need to add a float. So we're gonna say float left. 
to both of them. Now they are right next to each other. And um, the, the cool thing about floats is that you could always change the order. So see how one is before two? Well, if you do float right, you'll see that two is before one. And that's really easy to do with floats, but now let me show you why a lot of people find floats confusing. Let me remove the background color. Do you remember that there was a slightly gray, uh, a light gray wrapper? Well, there still is, but height ha the height has collapsed. Now, that only happens when there is a uh, automatically generated height, like, you know, it's not um absolutely positioned height so if i say like i mean uh if there isn't a fixed height so if i say like height 100 pixels uh you can see that it's still there but if i want to make it a height auto so that it expands to the whole content it's gonna collapse and i want to explain you why it collapses because i'm not really sure myself but i know that there's a really cool an easy way to fix it. It's called a clear fix hack. You can go ahead and read more about that in Google. But so basically this is what you do. You create a class of clear fix and then you make it um, a pseudo element with two dots uh, with two semicolons after. And uh, so we're gonna say content is nothing basically. Um, the display has to be table and we're gonna clear both so now when we refresh still nothing happens but that's because you have to give the wrapper the class of clear fix so look what happens now there we go and it's really simple to do and uh, let's go actually and generate some paragraphs to show you what I mean um, so I'm gonna put P and P in here I'm going to generate one paragraph. And so yeah, this is the paragraph. Now wait. This is the paragraph. Actually, I'm not sure. No, this is the paragraph. Okay, there we go. Um, now I'm going to paste it in here. And I'm going to paste it in here as well. And now you can see that the height of the wrapper doesn't matter how many um, content there is inside the height it always uh, fills up the content but see if we put fixed height to it um, let's say 100 pixels oh I meant the height 100 pixels you can see that it's not covering the whole content and that's why we add the clear fix hack um, to hide auto now of course if it's something like um, a navigation menu um, where the height is fixed, it doesn't really matter. Um, you don't have to add, you know, the clear fix hack because it's fixed height. But um, now let me show you um, exactly why. Um, actually, no, let me show you how you're gonna do it if you want this div, okay, this one right here, to be thirty uh, to be thirty percent, and you want this one to be seventy percent. So let me show you that real quick. Um, I'm gonna give this a column, a class of column one, and this a column two. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna go column one and column two. So the width is gonna be 30% of the one of the first one, and the width of the second is gonna be 70%. The height is also gonna be 100%. Sorry and it's going to be floated right so uh, when there's when there are two days that are exactly the same um what you do is you add float left to both of them so basically they automatically um align themselves but when there are two the, you give one a float a left and the second one a float right and uh, now when we refresh we can see that you know the first one is really small and the second one is really big now we can add this, uh, we can put, give this a background color of like green to show you and uh, a background color of yellow, background color of yellow. Um, now if you want to change the order of the elements, what you have to do is um, give this a float of right and this a float of left. 
real simple and you can see that it works just fine now um, a good thing to do actually is to give um, so basically if the body is a wrapper you also have to give your body the class of clear fix because the height of the body is also going to collapse because the height of the body isn't 100% of the screen we see here it's actually generated um, to fill up the content inside of it so yeah that was it for this tutorial it's a really simple and easy tutorial um, and basically like there's nothing hard to it so if, if you have any questions feel free to leave a, a question down in the comment section below and also if you enjoyed the video make sure to slap that like button and uh, if you have any suggestions for the next video I'd love to hear them uh, so yeah just leave them down in the comment section below as well and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. So, see you.